Hi, I'm Dr. Reverend Aisha Hogan, and I am a sex and relationship consultant. Over the last few months, I've been really looking at the types of people that have been coming to me for um, assistance. And I help people a lot with their sexual relationships, but also their relationships outside of the bedroom with their partner, their relationships with themselves, their relationships with their colleagues at work, their relationships with their friends. Um, but really the big one has been with the relationships with themselves and how do we draw the right kind of people into our lives? Why do we keep pulling the same kind of person into our life? You know, why do we keep bringing the same kind of poison into our lives? And we're always looking at that as being somebody else's problem. But really, it's to do with ourselves. You know, that relationship that we have with ourselves. Okay? So, much of what I do is building you up, dealing with the issues that are holding you back, inhibiting you from being that uninhibited um, sexual partner, as well as being that person who can build immediate rapport with people, immediate bonding with people and it's really not that difficult so every day I'm going to give you a little tip on how to do that but if what I've said sort of resonates with you if you need help in any of those situations whether it's inside the bedroom or outside of the bedroom feel free to contact me because I do free strategy sessions where I can sort of talk to you I deal with a lot of ancient traditional and holistic methods in helping you get through these things and to helping you strengthen yourself. So, first tip of the day today is really in your next sexual encounter, your next sex play with your partner. And I'm not talking about the times that you're having those like quickie sessions. I'm talking about the times when you want to really extend that that lovemaking session or the sex play session, whatever you want to call it, um, try matching your partner's breath. I mean, don't do this where you're telling them what you're doing, but really every time they inhale, you inhale. Every time they exhale, you exhale. Really matching that breathing, okay? What that's going to do is immediately in your partner's sort of subconscious, in their own energy, in their own mind, they're going to be like, wow, you know, this person, you know, my partner, my love, my lover is going to, is, is getting me, right? We're in sync. We're creating this bond, right? So if you can match your breathing patterns with your partner's breathing pattern during this longer lovemaking session like I'm talking like you want to make this like 45 minutes an hour you know maybe more but if you can match that breathing you are going to build a bond with your partner okay so number one you're very focused on them and number two by matching that breath you're matching with them Okay, so that's going to create this really great bond between the two of you. So I'm going to ask you to give this a try. Okay, so this is your tip of the day. Matching your breathing patterns during sex. Okay, but for the longer sessions, not those quickies. Okay, they're too fast to do that. So just working that with those longer sessions. Now, like I said, um, I work with people a lot who have a lot of sexual trauma issues, um, issues that hold them back from really giving themselves to their partner, but also giving themselves to themselves, okay? Sex is not just about um, having that intimacy with your partner, but it's also having that intimacy with yourself. It's also feeling good inside your body, okay? And it doesn't mean that you have to be that socially acceptable sexual body. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just feeling good in who you are. Don't forget, your partner loves you. Okay? So the partner that you're with loves you. And if they love you, they're loving you the way that you are. The person that's having difficulty loving you is you. Okay? So we have to build that self-love in yourself so that you can appreciate who you are. Okay? So that's some of the stuff that we're going to that we would be working on. 
there's a lot but also like I said I don't just deal with sexual relationships inside the bedroom but we're also working with relationships outside the bed bedroom your partner relationships your friend relationships your relationships with people at work right just strangers you can build relationships with with strangers bonds with strangers almost instantaneously if you just know a few methods and how to do that but part of that is just getting out of your own shell okay remember when we point our finger at someone else and say that this person is causing my problems this person is causing my trauma this person is holding me back there are three fingers that are pointing back at you okay you have to work on you you have the power to change yourself because really the only person that we can change in this life the only person the only thing we have control over is ourselves we can't control anybody else but we can control the types of people we bring into our lives you don't have to be that person that meets the same kind of man all the time or brings the same kind of woman into their life all the time that's because of the energy that you are exuding that's because of the problems that you are having we're not like magnets where there's like a south pole and a north pole okay and only those opposites can attract it's not like that in energy and we are energy beings in energy we attract like like attracts like okay so if you are feeling certain things about yourself if you are resisting certain things you are going to attract those kinds of people so if you are attracting the same kind of guy into your life it's really because the characteristics that that person has you are either resisting in yourself okay or you have them yourself as well you just don't see it okay so you're bringing that into your life if we are attracting narcissists that doesn't mean that we're a narcissist that means that we are pushing away narcissists it's really weird how energy works let's say for instance in your past sometime when you were a kid or in your teenage world or whatever you saw these narcissists maybe it was your father maybe it was your mother maybe it was somebody at work but there was this narcissist in your life and you're like I never want to be like that ever okay what you're doing energetically is you are pushing away narcissists which sounds pretty easy right sounds good but what ends up happening energetically through quantum physics is that what we resist persists it pushes back that's how physics works energy if we push energy it pushes back with equal pressure meaning if we're pushing narcissists away we're actually bringing them in okay so the harder you push the more they come it's just how it works okay so there's two tips so how do we stop bringing the narcissist type of person into our life there is a way to do that it's pretty easy so um, like I said you can contact me for strategy sessions but today the the tip of the day is match your breathing with your partner during lovemaking sex play intimacy whatever you call it but for those longer sessions really match the rhythm of their breathing breathe in when they breathe in breathe out when they breathe out if they're breathing a little erratically match the breathing and you will create a really strong bond between the two of you okay so that is your tip of the day I will talk to you soon tomorrow I have a new tip for you so have a great day please put in your comments and your questions and I look forward to talking to you later have a wonderful day bye